Look at this dynamic duo we got going on. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Yeah. Hugh Jackman, the man needs no introduction. He's right here. <laughs> Feels so good not having run the marathon this morning. Just saying. We can stand. If you'd like to stand, we could. Fantastic. Maybe want push ups. Is it true you had a marathon runner in your front row yesterday at the Music Man? Yeah, at the end of the show, I looked down and there was a guy with a medal and a tank top. And if my first thought was like, good for you. And then I went, the people next to him. Like for the, that's two and a half hours sitting next to the guys just run for <laughs> 26 miles. Yeah, anyway. And, and I want to get to The Sun, the movie, but quickly, you, you have an announcement of the music, man? Yeah, we have, we're having a blast and uh, we're extending, uh, Sutton and I, the entire cast, we're going to extend for another two weeks. So we're going to go through January 15th. Fantastic. So the fun will continue. Please come and join us. We're there till January 15th. And in the meantime, you can go see The Sun. Uh, the movie looks so powerful. And I understand when you first read the script, you felt like lightning struck yeah I the so Florian Zeller who wrote it and directed did the father won the Oscar for the father with Anthony Hopkins um, I obviously had seen the movie I'd seen his plays I was going to do one of Florian's plays he's written a lot of plays and so I read the script and knew I had to do it I had also heard that a couple of other actors were being talked about so I had this awkward moment where I emailed the director uh, because I felt an urgency to play the part. I just, I just had that. It's a rare thing to happen. It's one you look for. I emailed him. I said, sorry if you're dancing with somebody else. If you are, I'm not the kind of guy to cut in. But if you're not, I would love to play the part. And Tell he, us why it spoke to you so deeply. I think the story itself, which deals with primarily a young man dealing with a mental health crisis and the family around him and how the family deal with it, I think is one that is universal. I think not just it's been happening for a long time, but I think particularly post-pandemic, we're, it's at an epic proportion right now. And this, this story is one that needs to be told. It needs to, I hopefully will spark conversations. I feel there's a lot of shame, a lot of ignorance, a lot of guilt around this issue. And people want to keep it within. And I think we have to admit that we don't know what to do. I think we have to admit that we don't always have the answers. And as there's a line in the movie that love is not always enough mm. in these situations. And so hopefully the movie um, will spark those conversations and get um, some real help to people who, who need it. Because a lot of people are worrying alone and, and we shouldn't do that. We should not allow that to happen. Let's give everybody a look. What are you doing, Nicholas? What do you want? When I was your age, my mother was sick. I wasn't seeing my father anymore. I had money problems, but I fought on. I fought on, and believe me, most days, it was no joke. And what has happened to you? What is there in your life that is so dramatic? You're not able to go to school like everybody else. Answer me. Answer me! I can't deal with it. Don't understand what that means. You can't deal with what? Living. I can't deal with living, and it's your fault. No pain deeper for a parent than when a child is in trouble. Yeah, I think it's almost unbearable for parents and it's so hard to know what to do um, and it's okay to not know what to do and I think that's one of the hard things to admit as a parent. You feel it's your job to be their strength, to be their anchor, to be their guide and there's so much doubt. Is this just a phase they're going through or is this something long term? Should I push? Should I pull back? There's so many questions and I think the movie really hits that nail on the head that we really shouldn't worry alone and it's okay to not know what to do. It must have been so intense to be on that set and I read that the director didn't want any of you to rehearse so that your emotions would be raw. Yeah, I, I was surprised by that because he's a theatre guy and I'm a theatre guy. Um, I like rehearsals but he just said I think we have to trust each other, we have to trust it and we have to go with what we're feeling in the moment. It was very intense, it was certainly the most intense movie I've ever done, but I was getting to work with Laura Dern, so Anthony Hopkins, Vanessa Kirby, this young man, Zen McGrath, and with Florian, the director, and I just had immense trust. And so every day we'd walk into these scenes that are kind of like the most horrific moments you can imagine having in life. And we would start the day and just see where it took us. And it was an experience I'm forever grateful for. And you for. actually needed mental health professionals mm. on set to help deal with mm. it? Yeah, you know, I really have to give props to, to our producers, you know, Seesaw, they, they supplied mental health professionals for everybody, not, not just the actors, but the crew. And there were many days, um, there's a very difficult scene in a psychiatric hospital where the parents are making a decision of whether to take the son out of the hospital or whether to leave him in. 
And I remember that day in particular, several members of the crew had to take breaks. Um, people would come up and talk about it. We'd finish filming. Normally what happens is crews just go going home. People would sit, would talk with each other. Um, I guess that's what I, we hope more than anything. Well, it'll spark those conversations exactly. all across the country. Cannot wait to see it. Hugh, thanks for coming in. The Sun's going to be in theaters in New York and Los Angeles on November 25th, nationwide, December 16th. And if you or someone you know is struggling with thoughts of suicide, free confidential help is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Call or text the National Lifeline at 988. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.